This is Phil Bell on the Daily Mojo with your morning update. Happy Columbus Day. That's right. I said happy Columbus Day. And you know what? Not only am I happy to wish you a great holiday, but I'm happy to celebrate the work of Christopher Columbus. Now, I want you to think about this for a second. Christopher Columbus took a very big risk. Now, it's true. He wasn't the first person who discovered the new world, but he did get on a bunch of ships with people that he probably didn't know. And he went to a place that nobody in his area knew very much about. And even though he was hoping to go someplace else, he set the stage for the modern world that we all live in. And that is very commendable. And what's more, what I find to be irritating is the fact that people who want to end his legacy and cancel him are the same people who are afraid to answer the phone if they don't know who's calling. Now, we should honor people for the work they do. And that's why it's great that we are honoring Christopher Columbus with a day. We should not honor people simply for existing. And that means those of you who are pushing the idea of Indigenous Peoples Day are totally out to lunch. The Indigenous people should not be celebrated just because they're there. Just like you and I should not be celebrated just because we are here. We should be revered if we do something that is so noteworthy that people have to stand up and take notice as Christopher Columbus did. So what I hope you will do all day today is wish your fellow Americans a happy Columbus Day. And if they push back on you, and if they try to tell you that Christopher Columbus was a bad guy, just thank them and tell them you hope they have a happy Columbus Day. And what I also hope you'll do is download the Daily Mojo smartphone app and enable notifications. That way you'll be up to date on the latest craziness coming out of Washington, D.C., and you'll know how to fight back. We'll see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a great day. Phil Bell's Morning Update is only on the Daily Mojo.com.